Now let's talk about what the treatment options are for hyperacusis and different devices that can be used for hyperacusis. I was personally trained in tendinous retraining therapy, and I believe that is the premier protocol to follow for hyperacusis. It typically involves the use of counseling, education, and ear level sound generators. Ear level sound generators are typically worn for up to 12 months. Again, this is a long-term treatment. This is similar to treating tinnitus in the fact that it takes months, at least six months of dedication. Now, what's interesting is hyperacusis can show faster improvements. That hyperacusis within a few months, I've seen this with patients within a few months after using these devices, understanding the system, the sensitivity to loud noise can improve. Hyperacusis is an abnormal response to loud sounds. Sounds that are loud but wouldn't typically cause pain are way too loud for someone with hyperacusis, and they may sound dramatically louder and cause physical pain. I can say that hyperacusis is treatable, and from a medical standpoint, it is curable because you can have hyperacusis now going through protocols. Let's say at one year in the future, you could have no sensitivity to loud sounds. Therefore, it is treatable, and the hyperacusis usually improves before the tinnitus.